Picture this, a world where you hop into a flying taxi, no pilot, no traffic, just you, cruising over the city like it's a video game. Sounds like a sci-fi dream, right? But it's not. China's got pilotless flying taxis ready to take off. And it's happening way faster than you think. But what about Europe and the USA? What's really going on behind the scenes of this race for the skies? And why is Europe so far behind? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have the full story, and maybe even rethink your next flight to Europe. But before we go any further, do you know which company has sold the most flying drones in the world? Is it DJI, Skydio, Parrot, or Aerovironment? Drop your answer in the comments below. In a truly groundbreaking moment for the world of transportation, China has just taken a giant leap toward making flying taxis a reality. In April 2025, China reached a major milestone in the development of urban air mobility by officially approving the use of pilotless flying taxis. This approval is a game changer in the world of transportation and a major leap forward in the field of autonomous vehicles. The Civil Aviation Administration of China gave the green light to Ehan, a prominent company in the flying taxi space, allowing them to launch commercial operations with their EH-216S model. What makes this so groundbreaking is that this flying taxi is completely pilotless, operated autonomously, with no human on board to control it. Ahong's EH-216-S had already received its production certificate in 2024, which made it the first autonomous aerial vehicle to be authorized for large-scale production. But the move in April 2025 to approve it for actual real-world commercial use is what really opens the door for these types of flying vehicles to become part of everyday life. This is not just a technological achievement, but a crucial step toward transforming how people will get around in the near future. The EH216-S is fully electric and can take off and land vertically, so it doesn't require traditional runways. It's designed to transport people quickly and efficiently, bypassing traffic and offering a more eco-friendly alternative to ground transportation. This approval is a clear signal that China is serious about pushing the envelope when it comes to urban air mobility, and it positions the country as a leader in this rapidly growing sector. With this pilotless flying taxi now officially approved, China is paving the way for other countries to follow suit. These flying vehicles aren't just about innovation for the sake of it. They're solving real-world problems like urban congestion and pollution. Imagine a future where hopping into a flying taxi to skip traffic jams becomes as normal as taking a ride-sharing service today. But this news will send shockwaves across the entire pilotless aviation industry for a couple of reasons. This is massive news for a couple of key reasons. First, it shows the world that flying cars, once a staple of science fiction, are now a legitimate, functional part of the future of transportation. China's low-altitude economy, which includes drones and EVTOLs, is expected to be worth over 2 trillion yuan by 2030. That's not just a cool piece of tech. It's a major economic shift that will create jobs, boost industries, and transform urban mobility. Secondly, it highlights the speed at which China is integrating this new technology. The country is not only testing these flying vehicles, but also actively rolling them out for commercial use. In fact, Ehong is already forming partnerships with various cities in China, where they plan to use their flying taxis for everything from tourism to daily commuter services. These kinds of developments could eventually help ease urban congestion and reduce the pollution caused by traditional road transport. Smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, China's been on a roll lately between DeepSeek, their cutting-edge AI search tool, and a whole bunch of robotic advancements that make Wally look like a child's toy. China's like the tech equivalent of that one kid in class who does all the projects and still wins every science fair. First, they're leading the way with flying taxis. Then they drop AI search tools that can pull information from the deep web like it's nothing. And now they're out here making robots that can probably give you a better presentation than most humans. For example, their EH216-S drone is like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. But instead of lasers and flying cars with doors that open sideways, we've got this sleek, electric, autonomous flying taxi that's ready to whisk people around the city, no pilot required. And honestly, it's got all the right stuff to make it work. First off, it's totally autonomous, which means no human in the cockpit, just good old AI making all the decisions. It's like that friend who always takes charge of the road trip playlist. Except this one's actually reliable, and no one's stuck listening to obscure indie bands they hate. This little drone has some serious tech under the hood too. It's an EVTOL, which is a fancy way of saying it takes off and lands vertically. So no need for a runway. Imagine trying to get through city traffic and then, bam, you just fly over it. That's the dream, and the EH216-S is making it a reality. 
No long, boring waits at traffic lights. Just a quick liftoff and you're cruising across town like the future is already here. Plus, it's electric, which means it's as eco-friendly as that one friend who always reminds you to bring your reusable bags to the grocery store. It won't be belching fumes into the atmosphere while you're on your way to your next meeting. Now, this thing doesn't mess around when it comes to safety either. It's got so many fail-safes built in, it's like the drone version of a seatbelt, airbags, and a bubble wrap suit all rolled into one. Collision avoidance? Check. AI that knows how to steer clear of obstacles? Double check. So when you hop on, you can feel safe, even though you're floating a few hundred feet above the ground in a glorified drone. Not bad for something that looks like a flying pizza box. Meanwhile, Europe and the US cannot even hope to stay competitive. And while China's absolutely sprinting ahead with its pilotless drone program, the US is kind of stuck in traffic, like trying to get a flying taxi off the ground, but running into every red light. Here's why. In China, Ehong's EH216-S has already received all the necessary certifications and approvals to fly passengers, including a production certificate and the green light to operate commercially. They've done the testing, got the approvals, and they're already planning to roll these things out across their cities. Meanwhile, over in the US, we're still waiting for anything to officially hit the skies. There's been a lot of talk about flying taxis and pilotless drones, but the regulatory bodies like the F Federal Aviation Administration are still figuring out all the legal mumbo jumbo before they get the thumbs up. Now let's talk about the real kicker. China's not just ahead, they're in full-blown catch-us-if-you-can mode. The US is cautious, and rightly so, but in this case, caution is sort of working against them. China's rolling out autonomous flying taxis in a way that makes them look like the future's already here. They've got public and private partnerships locked down, with cities like Guangzhou already on board to integrate flying taxis into the infrastructure. Meanwhile, in the US, the FAA is still bogged down with figuring out how to regulate everything, from air traffic control to ensuring these drones don't end up as traffic hazards in the sky. And don't even get me started on Europe. Oh, Europe, they're kind of playing catch up, aren't they? While China is out here approving pilotless flying taxis and preparing to dominate the skies, Europe's latest innovations have been a bit, well, less futuristic. The latest major contribution to the tech world from Europe? Those infuriating, unremovable bottle caps that nobody can seem to get off without a struggle. Meanwhile, China is launching flying taxis and testing autonomous drones that could transform transportation in a matter of years. Europe? Well, they've been busy with other things, like drone races. Yes, you heard that right. Europe's big move in the drone world is organizing drone races, which are fun to watch, no doubt, but not exactly setting the stage for the future of transportation. I mean, sure, it's cool to see little drones zipping around a track, but it's not quite the same thing as transforming urban mobility, right? China's basically treating autonomous drones like a regular Tuesday. They're integrating them into city life, pushing forward with real-world applications like flying taxis, cargo drones, and urban delivery systems. Meanwhile, Europe's out here having drone races for fun, great for sports fans, but not exactly going to solve the problem of congested, pollution-filled cities. It's almost like China's playing chess, while Europe is still stuck in checkers, focusing on bottle caps and trying to make drones do flips. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 